been a remarkable couple of weeks for Evian Tonangaya, who came into this game against Valenciennes having won 4-0 in their last two home outings. After thrashing Lorient to book a place in the French Cup final, they cruised past Nice a week ago, and a win here might just be enough to guarantee their place in Ligue 1 next season. Well, Valenciennes, playing for a 10th place finish, haven't been beaten in five games, though, as it turns out, they couldn't have got off to a worse start at the Parc des Sports. Saber Khalifa, who scored one of the goals of the season for Evian last week against Nice, was added again here in only the second minute. From a quick counter-attack, he skipped past Benjamin Angua and then swept brilliantly past Nicolas Penetto to make it 1-0. Well, the Tunisian international is certainly a man in form. This was a superb finish for his 13th goal of the season. Then in the 12th minute, Khalifa turned creator as he once again got the better of Van Gua and pulled across the face of goal for Fabrice Eret, who made it 2-0 with his first of the season. Evian running right at the Parc des Sports then with Valenciennes defending, not doing them any favours. Eret won't have many easier finishes than this in his career. into the 42nd minute and a slip from Carlos Sanchez set Evian away on the counter once again and Khalifa had a chance to make it 3-0 before half time but this time he was denied by Penato it was true that his shot lacked a little bite on this occasion a final corner for Evian to bring the first half to a close then and the host firmly in the driving seat leading 2-0 at the break Well, Valenciennes finally woke up in the second half and they thought they'd pulled the goal back in the 54th minute, but the flag was up against Yunus Sankare. As the replay shows, the Franco-Mauritanian was clearly offside, even if it was a very well-taken finish. Ehret was clearly feeling confident after his early goal and looked to wow the home crowd with this spectacular effort. It was unfortunately some way off target. Gael Danik then forced an excellent save from Bertrand Lacke in the 74th minute from this beautifully struck free kick. The ball taking a slight deflection perhaps off Eric Thiebi, but Lacke nonetheless equal to the attempt. Well, a late Maciadosovi chance didn't change anything for Valenciennes and Evian ran out 2-0 winners. That leaves them three points ahead of the drop, level on points, but with a far better goal difference than either Ajaxio or Socio. So they'll be back in Liga next season, and in the meantime, they can look forward to their French Cup final against Bordeaux. That'll be at Stade de France on May the 31st.